All right, so let's get down to the nitty gritty of the aftermarket magazines for the Glock 43X MOS, namely the Generation 3 uh, Shield Arms magazines that I've been using and testing out. Uh, these are the Gen 3s, like I said, with the divots on the back. And um, I was uh, using the, uh, the metal uh, mag catch that comes with it. And um, I got a little bit over a thousand rounds with each of these uh, before they they kind of stopped impressing me uh, with the reliability and um, I, I wish I could say better things about it but I'm joining the ranks of those that say that the, the Gen 3 and I, I've never used a Gen 2 but at least these particular shield arm magazines aren't working as well as I like them to uh, and they they're not good for uh, an EDC carry uh, they're not reliable enough so um, I went to the range uh, a little while ago. The first first couple of times that I was shooting these, um, after about a couple, five, six hundred rounds, I had two issues. I had one failure to fire, and the other issue that I had was a uh, failure to feed. And I took both of those um, those issues and I just kind of put them on the radar as something to just kind of keep a watch on. Well, uh, the last time I had went to the range with them to put... Uh, you know, a little over a thousand rounds through each of them. Um, it actually went pretty well uh, until I got home to clean the gun and reload it and rack another round in. And this happened. So obviously, um, I didn't really want to mess around with the uh, the Shield Arm magazines anymore as far as a, a self-defense um, uh, application or a self-defense applicable uh, magazine. So um, I went back to the OEM uh, Mag Catch and uh, the OEM Glock 43 magazines. Um, I was also testing out the PSA Micro Dagger magazines. Uh, these are also 15 round aftermarket magazines for the Palmetto State Armory Dagger, uh, Micro Dagger. And um, I have the, the chrome plated one and the blackened one. Um, and I got these on two separate occasions uh, to test them out. So um, do the Palmetto State magazine, 15 round magazines work better than the Shield Arm magazines? Uh, so far, yes, as far as reliability is concerned with uh, feeding the rounds through um, and being able to function. Uh, I haven't had any issue with any um, stove piping or failure to feeds or failure to fires or anything like that. So um, every time a bullet goes through, it fires it and it's good to go. Um, do the Palmetto State Armory magazines hold the slide open? No, they don't. Uh, neither one of them do. Uh, the black one started to when I first got it, uh, and after about a hundred rounds, it said, nope, screw that, we're not going to be locking the slide back anymore, I'm tired. So um, they don't reliably do that when all the other um, magazines do, uh, including the Shield Arms magazines that I have. So why that is, whatever, the spring issues and everything else, but they still um, reliably feed uh, all the rounds through it. Some people would say that that's not a big deal as far as, um, you know, having uh, the slide not lock back. Yeah, maybe in a self-defense situation, you're probably not going to be using 15 rounds anyway. Hopefully not. But uh, if I do need to uh, reload the gun, I do like the, uh, the mechanical uh, 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 nuance of having that slide lock back and having it um, feel and work the way my gun's supposed to work. Uh, also, if you, if you, uh, if it doesn't lock back and you're going for a reload and you drop the magazine, putting another one in, you'll have to rack it back. You know, it can kind of, uh, mess with your muscle memory a little bit, depending on how you are shooting. It's not a huge deal, but I would go with OEM, like I said, because I want my gun to work the way the gun is supposed to work. Um, for the 43X MOS itself, 
We have a clear gun. So the uh, 43X is a uh, flawless gun. It's great, uh, shoots fine, perfectly. There's no issues with it, but the review is not on the Glock. Everybody knows that Glocks work. Um, this is more on the, uh, the issues with the magazines that I've been testing. So, um, ironically enough, the, uh, the Palmetto State magazines, uh, they will lock the slide back, uh, when the gun is empty. Uh, and I just rack the slide back that way. Um, when it's in the midst of firing, it usually does not. Uh, and no, it's not me holding the uh, slide stop down because uh, it doesn't do that with any of the other magazines, including the shield arms. Plus, uh, I have also tested that theory by shooting it one-handed and again, in seven out of 10 times, this will not lock the slide back. So whatever the reason, um, the micro magazines don't do that. I would, at this point, uh, if people ask if it's a if it's a, an EDC type of magazine, uh, I wouldn't mind necessarily carrying it as a backup magazine, since it does have 15 rounds in it. So your primary EDC carry for your magazine is going to be your OEM. It's 10 plus one, 11 rounds. Yeah, it's not wonderful, but you know, it's you know decent enough. And if you ever need be, God forbid, you have a 15 round spare magazine that may not lock back, but it's uh, at least from what I can see right now, it'll fire without any kind of issue. So that's good. Uh, hopefully Glock as a company now will start to innovate a little bit more since the passing of Gaston. Uh, and maybe they will try their hand at a Glock OEM metal magazine for their micro pistols. Some people say that they won't do that because they're afraid that a, a 15 round OEM micro gun would hurt the sales of the Glock 19. I'm not sure if I really believe that or not, considering that the Glock 19 a lot of the times is more of a combative handgun for uh, military and um, you know law enforcement uh, type stuff anyway, and not necessarily like a, a true EDC, EDC pistol. So I think there's room for uh, both. But anyway, that's up to them um, as they go on as a company. So hopefully they can do that. Um, that's really about it. Uh, that's the, uh, the issues that I've had. The shield arm magazines are not ready for prime time in my opinion. And this is just uh, uh, my experience with them. Some people say that they're great and that they work well and they've you know, shot thousands and thousands of rounds through them without issue. That's, that's awesome. Uh, I haven't. That's just my experience. Um, I do shoot my guns uh, pretty rough and hard. I, I shoot them very combatively, very competitively. So uh, uh, there's a lot of times where I'm dropping magazines in the dirt. I'm slamming them back into the gun. I'm shooting at 100 degrees, you know, you know, uh, below freezing sometimes, at, you know, open ranges and things. Running and gunning. So that's the true test, I think, of a magazine to see if it's reliable rather than just being at a flat range, you know, shooting at paper from a booth. So. That's really about it. Um, that's my review. The, uh, the Glock uh, pistol, uh, it's gonna be good. And I'm gonna use my OEM for my primary. And uh, I have no qualms right now about using the Palmetto State Armory as a, a backup 15 round magazine. But the uh, shield arm magazines, unfortunately for me, are a no-go. Um, they're not reliable enough for me to, to put them as, a, as an EDC. But that's just my opinion. Um, you know, as I've always said, my opinion doesn't even matter. Probably doesn't matter. But I appreciate you guys watching anyway. So thank you.